Book 8, lesson 19, uh, conversation. So the dynamic will keep the same. I will ask the question, please pause, answer it, and then you can listen to my answer, okay? Question, question number one. Tell us about the last time you were in a crowd. Answer. Well, the last time I was in a crowd, well, if it counts, I don't know. I think it counts, like at the shopping mall. So it was like last year before the quarantine. I think uh, people haven't been in a crowd very often uh, this year, right? Um, but if not, if it's like a concert or, or a show, if it's like just a big crowd, then I think it was like, uh, I don't know, 20 years ago, maybe. Question. Name a performer that you think would draw a lot of people to his concert if he came to Curitiba. Answer. Well, plenty of uh, uh, performers, right? Uh, even Chitãozinho Chororó. Even... Uh, I don't know, Milionário José Rico, Milionário Zé Rico, José Rico, Milionário e Rico, I, yeah, I don't know, but those old fellows, I don't know if, if they are alive, right, but of course there are always lots of people there, so, but really, really a crowd, so we're ta we would be talking about international um, singers, right, or bands, um, and I think nowadays, I don't know if Anita is still famous, I really don't know. There is that guy, uh, Vitar, Pablo Vitar, right? People like him as well, apparently he's supposed to be a singer or something, or a dancer, I don't know. Number three, do you have a computer at home? Who installed it? Uh, answer, well, of course I do and I installed it myself. Number four, what should you do if you are driving a car and an ambulance is behind you with the sirens on? Answer, well, I guess I don't drive, uh, remember, but I guess you should just uh, pull over, right? So that the ambulance can pass. Number five, have you ever been in a situation that you would describe as a close call? Answer, Wow, now I know how you guys feel, right? Uh, it's hard sometimes. A situation I would describe as a close call. A situation... Yeah, I don't like to remember it, but um, there was... Uh, um, there was... When my, my, my baby was born, uh, we bought one of those you know I, I don't know what's what's that called but one of those things you know it's like a bag you put so you can put the baby here so the baby was here we were adjusting the the thing and then the, the straps just came out right and the baby was here so the baby was going to fall to the ground i caught the baby right in the air and uh, even though i'm very proud of having caught him um, I don't like to remember it. <laughs> I really don't like to remember. It. I feel, I feel really, I feel like crying, you know, because there was a close call. There was, there was a close call. Um, I don't want to think what would have happened if the babe ha had fallen. Uh, I really don't. Want. Okay, let's go to the next question. Uh, question number six. Where, where do you like to shop for clothes? Answer. Well, in my case, I don't care that much about clothes. I shop wherever my wife shows me to go to, I go, right? If she, she shows me a store and, and, and if she says, enter this store, I do. And then she picks up some things and she tells me, try these things on. And then I do, and then I show her, and then she says it's okay, and then it's okay, right? The only rule, the only uh, imposition I put on her is it has to be fast. It has to be fast. Okay. Question number seven. How do you usually do 
Sorry, what do you usually do to celebrate your birthday? Answer? Hmm. Well, I usually don't celebrate my birthday a lot, but uh, again, my wife <laughs> does everything, all right? Sometimes she buys a cake, you know, calls some of my friends, you know, sometimes we have just something at home. But until very, very recently, and I still don't know if uh, it's not until now, I don't like my birthday a lot. I, 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 not only I don't think it's a very special day, but I think it's kind of depressing to become older. I know, I know that, uh, you know, it shouldn't be like that. I should be thankful for the years and etc. But I don't feel so well. Question number eight. Describe something that is impossible for you to do by my by yourself answer um impossible for me to do by myself of course there are the obvious things right things we have to do in a group but i think the fun of this question would be finding something that people can do by themselves and i can't mm, i really don't know i really really I don't know, taking care of the technicalities of, uh, you know, the practicalities of life, you know, like uh, water bill, uh, electricity bill, you know, calling banks and, um, you know, transferring money from one place to the other. I, again, I'm very lucky to have my wife because she does all of that. I just get my paycheck, you know, I give it all to my wife and then she does all all of that and I think it would be pretty impossible for me to do those things by myself you know well question number nine uh, tell us about a time you overslept answer I think it wasn't a long time ago you know uh, I think it happened quite frequently this this last uh, I don't know oh, this camera is bad I'm sorry to okay it's bad um, I think it uh, it uh, happened you know I think three or four times in the last two months we bought we bought a new sofa and the sofa is just incredible incredible before we bought the sofa I think the last time I had overslept was like uh, I don't know two or three years before you know and then in two months I overslept four times and I was late for classes uh, because you know I wake up and usually I wake up pretty early I wake up uh, at five depending on the day six o'clock and uh, and then uh, the I wake up and then I think I'm just going to rest a little bit from my night's uh, sleep and I will rest a little bit on this sofa and I go there I start sleeping and when I wake up it's already too too late mm -hmm. so it's blame on the sofa it's interesting because actually the publicity uh, of the sofa of the store is uh, we are not responsible for delays something like that if you get late for work it's not we you cannot blame us you know and uh, it's a nice nice marketing but uh, it's true i got late four times to work because of the sofa that is too comfortable uh all right so then the last question what project are you working on at your job right now interesting question how long will it take you to finish up answer well I'm glad I like to talk about those things I think I'm, I've been working uh, in a lot of projects right now you know first there is the the, the regular groups here at CCA and I think uh, the most important project I have right now is my TC class my teachers course class uh, I am coaching especially two students there in the group are pretty interesting and I'm trying to coach them so that I can develop their abilities or they can develop their abilities with my help and uh, <clears throat> and I, I hope they become very good teachers and we can hire them here to, to work here at CCA. This is the first project. Of course there are all the groups I teach but then I have many projects going on here in the channel. Basically they are related to reading literature. 
So I have some students, they don't take the regular course, they just do literature uh, classes. You know, a little bit like uh, um, the Rose, the Nightingale and the Rose, but just that, the whole course. So I've been reading, I, I, I have just started reading uh, Jane Austen, uh, Pride and Prejudice, with one of my students. I think so far I have, uh, I have recorded like 15 videos. And I believe this project will take about a year to finish. And by the end of this project, I will have something about, let me see, 150, 200 videos, right? Uh, the same way I'm reading a very interesting book with another student called uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. The same dynamic. I think it will take me a year as well because we're talking about uh, 200 videos as well. And then I'm reading two other books that are easier, you know. But even so, I think each one of them uh, is going to take um, at least 100 videos. So I have lots of videos to record. Also, in my Portuguese channel, the my channel in Portuguese for literature, I've been reading Don Casmurro, you know. I'm already in chapter, almost chapter 100. So I believe uh, it will take me, I hope, like a month to finish this project, you know, because I read all, all of the book and I comment everything, so it takes a long time. Um, yep. And I've been reading a book uh, uh, by a German guy called, the, the German guy is called Thomas Mann, and the book is called A Montanha Magica, it's the magic mountain in English, but I'm reading in Portuguese. And I believe that project will take uh, about a year as well, all right? And then, of course, there are other minor projects in both channels, but uh, uh, that's enough about me, right?